it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Today I am showing you this little gift box. Um, I am making some gifts for the, some neighbours who have been looking after... I've just realised that's been in the wrong place. Um, some neighbours who have been looking after my father during lockdown. Um, as you may know, I live quite away from him, as does my brother. So some of his amazing neighbours have been making sure that he's got all his groceries and all that good stuff. So I thought it would be good to give them a little thank you gift. And I thought some boxes of handmade cards would be a nice way to do that. And I've done prize peonies as my focus. Uh, and I'm using the bundle, so the peony dies and the prize peony stamp set if you order them together using the bundle code, you save 10%. And of course, during June, you can add these to your starter kit free. So get these in addition to your £130 or €175 Euros of product that you choose. Add these on free and pay £99 or €129. Euros. No postage. That's free as well. And you can get lots of lovely stuff. By joining my team. So let me show you, these are really quick cards to make but I think that they are elegant and something that the neighbours will be able to use. Uh, I'm using the Stamparatus because it's quick um, and it means that once you've set it up everything's good to go. Now I have got to finish off the envelopes and I've got to make another couple of cards but let me just empty these out. So the card is just the small peony in the corner um, and it's plain. So it's, you know, blank for your special message. I want to stamp on the envelopes as well, but I need the same stamp. So until I've finished, um, I can't, I can't, I can't. So I've done four cards and I want to do six in total. So I've got some pieces of Whisper White which I am just going to... No, where did I put it? I put them there, didn't I? This is where I can't remember what I was doing because I was doing it a while ago. So I'm stamping just in the corner, but I think I might have been going that way round. Only because... No, yes, that's what I was doing because that then is against the edge. Right, I know what I'm doing now. Can you tell I prepped this a little while ago? Okay, so I've got my grey granite ink uh, because the peony bundle, the grey in the peony bundle is smoky slate and grey granite. So you've got two greys and I like the grey granite because it's soft. Um, so I'm going to ink up my stamp and then I've got this little scrap of paper that I'm going to stamp off and then just stamp into the corner and because it's in the Stamparatus if I want a little more pressure I can just put a bit more pressure on so that's that one done so it's very very pale deliberately very very pale and then the next one and again we're going to ink up our peony stamp it off and stamp it with second generation. So that is the stamping for my cards. Then for the envelopes, I want again to have the peony in the corner. So I'm going to be moving things around. Now because I've got red rubber, I am, I've taken off the mat. This is just straight onto the, the base with the, I've laminated this and got a few bits of paper in there. But other than that, it is straight onto the base, which does mean that the magnets are very, very, very strong. Right, now I just want to clean that off so that I don't end up stamping onto my card in the wrong place, or into my envelope, I should say. So I want to make sure that it's the right way up, which it is, and I'm just going to have it down in the bottom corner again, so it's all going to match. And this time I'm going to stamp full strength because I think it's nice to have a, a bolder image on the outside. And all I've got to do is stamp on my six envelopes. So all I need is to check that they're the right way up, pop them down, 
If you're confident with your stamping, you don't need to worry about the magnet, but just in case, it's always worth having it there because we all go wrong every now and again. So again, check your envelopes the right way up. And stamp. But I think the ladies that have been keeping a particular eye on him will appreciate some handmade cards. Um, they're both young mothers and um, they have been absolutely brilliant looking after him. So just a little token I thought would be nice. And the last one. And there we go. So that's the stamping for that. Remove that. Now I do need to then do, because I'm doing a second batch, I'm going to show you how to make the um, box as well. So I have got a scrap of Whisper White and it's a real scrap. Um, it was where I was planning things out and they weren't going quite right. That will work. Okay, so I'm going to stamp this in full strength. This is the really nice big peony. I'm going to stamp it in full strength ink and then use my blends, but I'm going to leave the ink to dry while I finish off the cards. Now I did find that previously I need to really make sure I ink that centre bit. Um, for some reason it doesn't really want to be inked properly. So there we go. And there we are. Beautiful! So that I will leave to dry while I finish off the cards. Then I'm going to colour that with blends. It takes seconds. Um, and then we can pop it all together. So, OK. So that we're leaving for the moment. Let me finish off my pack of cards. So I've got two, oh, three more. Two more pieces of grey granite and all I'm going to do is add some liquid adhesive onto my grey granite and those of you who have watched me for any length of time know that particularly when I'm using Whisper White I like to put the adhesive onto the mat not onto the Whisper White it just it means you get a smoother finish on the on the Whisper White Otherwise, you can end up with it bubbling a bit. Well, not bubbling, but having a texture, which is not a good look. But I do like the liquid adhesive, particularly when you're using a very, very narrow um, edge to your card. I think it, I think it just gives you that extra little bit of wiggle room. So. We have got one card already folded, so one card ready to go. Get my bone folder. And again, liquid adhesive. I'm just doing a scribble. You don't need that much. And then we want that to be in the bottom corner. But it's just a really soft little bit of something um, that makes a huge difference. You know, it's you don't need a huge thing on the front of your card. Just a little bit um, would be really elegant. And this is such an elegant set that I have done bright peonies. I think I it was on my last coffee and card. So last week or this no last. Not the one I've just done, but the one I have did before. I'm filming out of sequence because some of it I do live. My brain can't cope. So those are our six cards and our six envelopes. And I like to kind of alternate them. And if we've got, as we've got um, stamped envelopes, we're going to end up with a nice pretty back as well as a pretty front. Now, sometimes 
you may find that because you've got the crease you need to do concertina them so you've got some with the fold on one side and some with the fold on the other um, these seem to be playing game, the game reasonably well I should have another envelope there we are one more envelope and a card and those just slip nicely make sure I've got my pin is at the right point these will slip nicely into one of our acetate boxes this is one of the acetate card boxes we now do the smaller ones as well uh, it's always worth not putting these in first at uh, last so let me just take out the middle ones put that one in first excuse me while I just have a fiddle so if you put that one in first towards there we go then you can slip everything else in on top and you won't get caught up on your flaps well to the same degree anyway there we go oh except I've now got <sighs> I've got one of my envelopes missing there we are it goes in there just in there come on in you go I'm all fingers and thumbs today not a good day to be filming when you're all fingers and thumbs. I just want to show that you can get six note, uh, six cards and envelopes in the box. There we go! Oh, except now I've got that in the wrong way up. Excuse me while I just take that out and put that in the right way up. Okay. And just close my box up. And yes, I am pushing it against my stomach. And there we go. So those are our nice little, a nice little pack of note cards and envelopes. Well, I say note cards, full size cards and envelopes. Um, and then you can just close it with, because it's got a slit, it will close. But let me show you how I made the wrap. I've got this all nicely dry now. So I'm just using Petal Pink and um, Seaside, sea, sea, soft sea foam my brain i'm thinking of seaside spray um and i've also got had now can't see yes i can the light gray granite the light gray granite is going to be a little trick and it's an optical illusion trick um which i will come on to and it works on die cuts and on just stamped images so let me, and I have shown it to you before, but I think it's particularly good on this die cut where it's going into kind of mid-air because some of it is going to be in mid-air, as in not on the designer series paper. Right, so that's the tricky bit, is the outline. The inside is really easy. And then the bud. Now, and the only reason I've chosen soft sea foam, if I can say it, is because it's pale and I wanted a pale green. Um, I didn't want anything too dark. Right, petal pink dark. I'm just going to add some random shading. It's quite easy because it's already got shading because it's distinctive so it makes it really easy anyway you don't have to add the extra shading but I think it does just add a little something and obviously I'll need to make another set of the note cards um, but as you can tell they're really quick to put together I'm going to put more on the bud because I think peony buds tend to be darker than when they've opened up fully and then just blend that in a bit and all I'm going to do is scribble into the middle I'm not too worried about the outline area and then for the seaside soft sea foam why am I calling it seaside spray uh, with the dark 
I'm just going to do this kind of the other way around. So I'm just going to add some dark where I want it darker. So probably all of the stem. I, when I first saw the, oh, I did too much then. Never mind. Uh, when I saw this suite, when I first got to see the catalogue all those months ago, um, I knew that I was going to like this. It is just heaven. It's not my favourite because, of course, my favourite would be the sunflowers. You can't have a team called Sparkling Sunflowers and not have sunflowers as your favourite. And the fact that there is a Celebrate Sunflowers set. I know I've said it before, but it's like it's my million dollar achiever set. And no, I'm nowhere near a million dollars. I've only been a stamping up demonstrator for four years, so, you know, I haven't even had my first hundred thousand yet. I'm getting there, but not yet. And then just on the ends there. There we go. Right, so I need the large peony die, which is this jobby. So I'm just going to run that through the die cutter. And of course, we've got, we're going to have our new die cutter soon. Uh, and if you're a demonstrator, you get it even sooner and at a discount. Just saying. Just saying. So die cut that. So that's that die cut. Now, let me show you what I think is quite a difference. So this is this one, which has gone a bit skew with. And this, this one just looks more elegant than this one. And I'm going to show you why. So it's not difficult and it does actually cover up a multitude of sins. Uh, I think I'll use this. Take your gr light grey granite. Please tell me this is light. Yes, it is. And just run it round anywhere where there is white. Just run it round. And it just makes it look as if there is no white. It's, I mean, obviously there will be no white, but it, it stops making it look as if it's a die cut and makes it almost look as if you fussy cut the whole thing without any edge at all. Uh, it's a great way if you're trying to show definition on a card. So if you want to have an outline, you can have a soft outline around the edge of a stamped image that you've coloured in with blends. Um, as I say, I have shown it to you before. I will try and remember to show you this trick again when I do my next card. It have to be something which has a stamped image, of course. It's a bit of a, you know, you have to do it. Um, so you do have to take the time, but the difference that it makes is phenomenal. And of course it will dry, drier, dry lighter even. Dry drier? How can it dry drier? Uh, it will dry lighter than it is. But it will just, it just makes a huge, huge difference, particularly if you've done a bit of a bungle job on your die cutting, uh, which, as I say, I have a bit because I've got a very uneven edge. It's fine, but it's not brilliant. But I will show you when I've finished it the difference that it makes. And it is a huge, huge difference. Well, I think. Tell me if you think so too. And how I said, do remember to subscribe if you don't already. It's a great way of making sure that you know when I've posted it, particularly if you hit the notification bell. Uh, it's also a great way of supporting me without it costing you a single penny. Um, but the more people who subscribe, the more people will see my channel. And that is a great help. Right, so there we are. So it just, I don't know, it just does 
particularly when it's really dry you can see that this is still quite it needs to lighten up a bit but when it's really dry particularly on the marble brilliant so this is a two inch strip of the designer series paper which as i say is gorgeous um, and i'm using the marble side and i have got another acetate box now the only thing i would say is make sure it's clean um you want your join strangely to be on the front so the front for me is where the fold is rather than the tuck so this is fold this is tuck this i think of as the back cat hair everywhere um, that's what comes of carrying a cat around your garden so this is on your shoulder uh, this is the front so all I'm going to do I'm going to line this up on my paper and I'm not you know it doesn't have to be central or anything just somewhere and straight and make sure your acetate box is straight as well I'll come down a little and then Fold your designer series paper, make a nice firm crease, and again, and just make sure that those ends are going to meet up, which they are. And then I used Seal Plus for this to make sure it absolutely whoops, did not move, but I'm only putting it on the paper, so I'm going to pop a bit just get it started I'm going to pop a bit there and a bit there yeah and then fold that over making sure that you line up your edges so that's that and then on the back where are we time wise 22 minutes need to get a little bit of a wiggle on on the back you want some dimensionals and this really helps with the grey outline this really helps to make it look as if it's floating I mean it is floating because it's got dimensionals on the back um, but the grey outline really helps with that and then somewhere I have some minis there we are so just pop some minis on the smaller bits and also on the stem there just one up there and then that's good to go so I still haven't put my box together it's still flat just make sure your dimensionals are well stuck Peel the backings off and they will come off really easily. Not all foam adhesive was made equal. And our dimensionals are fantastic at the release. Now, this is the trick. You want this to go over the line. And because this is oh, going to be a little bit further over to the right, but never mind. Um, so you want that to go over the line there it's going to be right on the edge but it's fine and then that's now going to hold everything in place so that when you pop your box together and I just do that by folding it the other way on itself like that again there we are and there you have your wrap and your peony just it as if by magic it's just the peony you see and not the die cut behind it or the seam around it in my opinion anyway so I hope you found that helpful um, really quick to put together and as I say I'm going to make another set for the other neighbour um, but really, really quick to put together, 
uses minimal supplies, mostly Whisper White um, and thick Whisper White. Two inch strip of designer series paper. You could go classy and put a piece of designer series paper on your envelope flap. But I think as a present, that is a really nice little gift to give someone. I hope you found that interesting. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave those below in the comments below the description bar. There will be a link to the blog post which will have more photographs and a bit more information, a list of products, all that good stuff, and more information about the current joining offer, which is stunning. And you've only got till the end of June. Please don't miss out. And it then means that in July, you'll be able to order from the autumn winter catalogue. I know Christmas in July. Um, and then in August, you'll be able to order your your new cut and emboss machine at a discount. Thank you very much indeed. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.